Hello everyone and welcome to Mary's Make Shop. To start this channel I wanted to talk about my Centroid Acorn CNC control setup, but these are just some of the highlights, so if you want a more in-depth description, please check out the Centroid Acorn DIY page. I'll include that in the description below. So let's start with these Chinese engravers. You can really find these everywhere, Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Banggood. I'll be showing you two of them. So this first one is characterized with this black box here. And that's the engraver control box or router. The acorn plugs directly into it using a parallel port connector. And here's another one that has a blue controller box, slightly different, um, but you can find hundreds of these online from $400 or typically six to $700. And if you got all the options, you could probably find one like $1,200. But they, um, they come with this T-slot table. It's really nice slots to mount your materials on. You can see how we've mounted this local walnut here and here, making sure it doesn't move um, when we're cutting. And we did that with this small slot that we made in the wood to hold it down. So this black box comes with four stepper drives or open loop steppers. You can see the X-axis stepper motor here. It comes with the three axes, X, Y, Z stepper drives, as well as the spindle. Quite a bit of value um, because you get the engraver table, stepper motors, and spindle. And sitting on top here is the Acorn CNC control system, which plugs right into your PC or laptop. And over here, running the CNC 12 software. And this is just a Centroid CNC control main screen. Um, you can run this really on any modern PC or laptop with Windows 10. Um, the minimum specs are available online if you wanted to check to make sure your PC worked. But um, right here on the right side, you can see the virtual control panel and that's touch compatible or you could use a mouse. Sometimes it's called a jog panel. The software is included uh, with Acorns for projects, I think under 50 kilobytes. But now let's move to the Acorn. Actually, we're gonna go around back now this is the acorn which connects to both my pc and the engraver control box you can see the terminal strips around the perimeter here you notice how we hardly have anything connected to it um, the terminal strips that is and that's because this db25 cable or commonly known as a parallel port connector let's actually get a closer look at that most of these chinese routers have the db25 connector and often come with the parallel port cable and I guess when you're shopping around for these Chinese routers, just make sure it has this parallel port connector because that's what you'll need to plug into the Acorn and do not get this type of router, which doesn't have a parallel port. But little to no wiring to get these control boxes uh, really up and running. It just comes out of the Centroid Acorn through the DB25 cable and into the control box of the uh, Chinese router. And also back here are the motor connections, which we have four individual motor connectors. You can see the X, Y, Z, rotary or spin, they're labeled. Um, and if you follow any one of them, it'll lead you to the tabletop mill motors. And here I'm just following it to the Y axis motor. And under the Acorn is the power supply that comes with the Acorn kit. And the power supply is connected to a 110 volt uh, power cord. And you can also see these yellow and green wires here, which supply uh, 24 volts from the power supply to the Acorn. And these wires come with your control kit. We're gonna move this around and you can see where the power supply connects into the Acorn board here. This is also the blue ethernet cable, which goes from the Acorn and directly uh, plugs into your PC or laptop. I just have it hooked up to a uncased motherboard, but Anyway, that's the highlights of my setup. Let me know your thoughts on my first video. Any questions or feedback, please leave in the comments below and catch you on the next one.